The valley is driven largely by the notion of the product visionary, particularly in the consumer internet, right? There's a reason for this. I mean, I'm a believer as much as anyone else. I've lived and worked among the most amazing engineers. Both at Yodley, we had an incredible engineering team, certainly at Google, right? And been able to partner with some of the most amazing product managers, right? The key if you want to be a founder is are you a product profit, right? I don't mean do you get it right. I mean do you lean forward and have a thesis on you know, what might be around the corner for the consumer. It doesn't matter that you're right or wrong, but when venture capitalists want to invest, they want to invest in this, right? A professional CEO is different. At the founder level, whether you ever end up being the CEO or not, what they're looking for is the product profit. Right? So what does the product profit look like, and how do you become a product profit? Right? I don't think that it is simply instinctual. Right? I think that, yes, there are people who are great coders, and there are people who are great business development people, and there are people who are great salespeople. You know, but often, you know, the insight you have comes from something you know. Right? Or an area in which you feel like you have a unique ability you know, to see where the customer might be going. So when many people ask why are women starting a lot of companies these days and a lot of e-commerce companies, I simply say it's not all that odd, right? It's, it's actually the same model that has existed in venture and in the Valley for a long time. Maybe women are starting lots of companies because they feel like they have a unique insight on the customer, right? Maybe they feel like they have a unique insight on curation or delight or urgency or, you know, whatever it might be in the e-commerce arena where they are the core customer, right? So I think this is a very known model. And I think the other key thing, if you're planning to be a founder to think about is, are you this person? If you're not this person, is your co-founder this person, right? But how and where do you construct a product vision from? And I'd submit, again, it's not about, you know, it needs to be, you know, some, some amazing person that you've never met and it can't, can't possibly be you. In fact, it can be you, right? But it's where are the areas where you believe that you have a, a lean forward mentality or an insight that maybe, maybe you could go right. And while everybody else is going left, there may be something to trying that out. That's the core essence of a product profit, right? And I do think that if you're a founder without a product profit or you don't feel like you're the product profit, the number one thing you need to do you know, is step back and say, OK, where is this gene in my company, right? How do I find it? How do I nurture it? And as I said, if you're the founder, you know, the reality is it's you or it's your co-founder. Right? And I think this is one of the most interesting things. Um, I came from judging a venture capitalist uh, venture competition yesterday, a pitch competition of startups, and they were all amazing. They were all amazing companies. Um, but, you know, but, in, but in one case, I felt like we were talking about a business plan that had a target customer that was a very attractive advertising demographic. But the key thing a code judge asked of the company in question is like, I get that this is a great advertising demographic to base a site around. The question is, do these people self-identify you know, as being part of this? Or is this simply an attractive business proposition? And I think that is the essence of the question, right? There are attractive business opportunities. But in the consumer, insight, in the consumer internet space, it's about where is the unique consumer insight, right? And how do you construct it? And from what do you construct it? Whether it's your own experience or whether it is a competency that you might have.